Now let's take one example from the aquatic life. In this lesson, uh, let's briefly touch the fish. So fish is essentially invoked in reference to its existence only in water and its unbreakable relationship with uh, water without which it cannot actually uh, essentially exist. The same parallel is drawn by Gurbani to hammer the point that, uh, you know, we are the fish in the all-pervading water, divine water uh, that we exist in and there is essentially no life uh, uh, for a divine lover without the divine. That's like a fish cannot survive outside of the water. Just like a fish loves the water, we are encouraged to develop that kind of a loving relationship with the divine. Well, another commonly invoked uh, uh, symbol in connection to the fish is its relationship with the net, which basically represents death for the fish once it swims into it. Similarly, our actions, the Guru tells us, uh, you know, are taken in complete ignorance of the fact that death is uh, inevitably approaching us and uh, and we are acting without an awareness of it and finally we end up uh, into its claws without having accomplished much in life. <laughs>